Hi and welcome to the Digital Camera School. Today we're going to be talking about understanding your camera settings. Now it's not going to be every setting on your camera but the ones you'll be using on a day-to-day -day basis. So if we take a look at the dial at the top of the camera next door to your on and off switch you'll see icons on one side and letters on the other. Now not all of your cameras will have the same icons or letters but they will be very similar. So let's, have a, let's take a look. Let's take a look at the manual which is really self-explanatory. The camera will be set into manual and you will have to set the aperture, your ISO and your shutter. Now if you're not clear of what these do at the moment if you go to the next modules you will find in great detail an understanding of your aperture and ISO and your shutter. Moving on to AV some of you will have AV some of you have A but it just means aperture or aperture value so you will have to set the aperture and the camera then will set your ISO and your shutter. Moving on to TV now some of you will have TV which is time value okay, or some of you have S which is shutter but at the end of the day you will have to set the shutter and the camera then will set the ISO and the aperture. P again self explanatory it's fully programmed but it will give you the flexibility to change your ISO changing your ISO is basically changing the sensitivity of your memory card moving on to the green square some of you just have a green square some of you have just a green A some of you have both and basically it's auto and it's fully auto so the camera will set your ISO your shutter and your aperture so let's have a look at the icons the icons the first one the video so your still camera if you touch to turn the dial to the video icon then your camera is being turned into video camera my re recommendation is not just turn it to the video icon is go and have a look at the module and learn about the how to use video first okay so the first icon uh, on the major ones is the picture of the, the head and that's basically portrait and all that's doing is choosing the best aperture which will give you the smallest depth of field and the ISO and the shutter then if you go to the mountain the mountain basically is if you're taking a picture through glass so if you're on a holiday and you're on a coach and you take a picture through the glass of the, the coach window sometimes the coach window can be a little bit dirty and what will happen is the autofocus will focus on the window and not take that picture that you're looking for but if you switch it to the mountain that will allow you to do that and all that's doing is is changing it to infinity that moves us on to the flower again slightly self-explanatory it's very for close-up work or what we want to call macro so that will allow you to do if you're doing say things for your insurance like taking pictures of your rings or your say uh, watches then that would be the best one to use then we have the runner okay so it's going to obviously choose the fastest shutter okay with the best amount of light that it has all right so there you are your guards at the top let's have a little look at the back of the camera and then the back of the camera we see WB which is white balance now at the moment we've been talking about controlling the amount of light going through your camera okay here we're going to control the balance of light because light has different colors believe it or not so we can have a warmer light and we can have a cooler light so if we switch to WB you'll see these icons come up my recommendation is that if you go to these icons and go outside and put the camera on program take all the pictures 
in these icons and do exactly the same as indoors you will see a fluctuation of balance of light of color of light moving on to AF which is autofocus settings if we switch over to there you'll see three here but some of you will have four one shot AI focus and AI servo again one of our modules does cover that because there's a little bit more detail than it needs to go in this module okay so that's the, the your camera settings that you probably use on a day-to-day -day basis I hope that's helped if you're looking for for more help please go to the digitalcameraschool.com for more details